Okay, guys, sorry about that. So what we were talking about, um, courtship here. So I feel that you actually are doing some sort of dating right now. Now, this could also be networking, uh, online meetings, and different things like that. But since I see two people, this actually really indicates love for me here. And this is about focusing on the stability of a situation, okay? So this is about new contracts, uh, new public meetings or, or you know meetings, just getting together romantically, uh, you know, talking to someone, uh, this is, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of getting to know someone and kind of seeing, well, where is this going to lead? Okay. So this is kind of what I feel for you here. Now, the next card that I get is a 29 card. Now the 29 card is all about, um, it reduces to an 11 and, um, this really talks about an opportunity to get out of, you know, per perhaps an old way of thinking or doing, because when I see this, it's, 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 I almost feel that this is some sort of thoughts or some sort of imprisonment that is happening with you. Um, there is someone that feels like they're behind bars. Okay. And I feel that it's, it's, um, it's, it's almost as if that it's an old, it's, it's an imprisonment of a way of thinking. Uh, it is being trapped, you know, maybe it's in a, a job situation, a relationship or a certain mindset of some sort. Okay. This is coming through. It's something having to do with love or courtship and maybe feeling a little trapped in the situation. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, this it's it's kind of like uh it, it, i don't know it could even be um some sort of uh uh confinement i don't know if you are feel in isolation right now at this moment because the next card that i get is great fortune all right which really is beautiful all right um this to me is kind of like the the 10 of pentacles in the uh rider rate deck but this is an opportunity just to feel in completely in abundance, right? This is maybe you're at a really good period right now. There's a lot of new opportunities that are coming for you. And I think you're going to find it in love. I think you're getting your, I think what's happening is that because this is right under the pathway and I feel that you're kind of, you're on a new road and the past maybe could have been, you know, imprisoned an old way of thinking or doing uh, as it pertains to love. But I feel that, you know, that you're, you're such a catch, right? And then I feel that, you know, this courtship is coming into play. And then when I get great fortune, this is just an opportunity for you to uh, get some sort of abundance, all right? It could be maybe wishes coming true of that, what it is that you wanted. And maybe it comes across in a way that you didn't expect. Maybe it's someone that you're courting um, that just, or, or someone that you're interested in that really comes through and there's some sort of good luck triumph uh it also obviously is wealth but there's it's also happiness um it is a benefit it is a uh, very very positive i'm gonna pull one more card just to see what would be coming next after this great fortune but there's some sort of change that happens yeah it has to do you know what's so interesting and it comes up with community so uh with this it has to do with community and with teamwork and collaboration so this could be an opportunity for you to uh um i don't know it's kind of like uh it, it, it's it's like people that your connection with this could be your family your relatives your co-workers i do feel that maybe there is going to be some sort of great fortune it, it's teamwork it's positive reinforcement i think that you're going to be making a lot of money at work guys this is what i feel it's coming through there's some sort of new path that you're taking some sort of new idea that is going to be phenomenal it's going to reap rewards now it also has again you thinking differently in terms of your um your partnership Let Let's pull a card on this courtship on the number four here. I get a sense of stability is gaining, um, you know, here, and it could be someone that you're dating. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles is what you've been manifesting. This is I've got going through a new door, right? So this is what it is that you're manifesting. The Ace is a brand new opportunity. And the universe says, here you go. Here's a brand new opportunity for you. And it could be love. It's blooming. So I feel that there could be love blooming with someone that you're courting, um, you, or you soon will be if you're not right now. And what do I get? Yeah, remember how I mentioned that imprisonment card, uh, you know, kind of looking from a different perspective? Well, this clarified that. And this tells me that of a need to... Uh, be a little bit more open-minded rather than feel that you're blindsided or feel that you're blind to the situation. This is saying just flip it and look at something from a different perspective in love. And this is what it has you doing. All right. So it has you doing, and I'm just going to pull a card on this uh, from the um, Oracle card and see if there's anything that wants to come through on this. What do we get? 
spiritual work. You're doing spiritual work in terms of coming out of that, right? Uh, you're doing it on an individual, but also a soul level. So you are in the process of doing your spiritual work and you're listening to your intuition. It's like the universe is giving you guidance for your divine path in love and life. And there is no shortage of responsibility. I mean, of, of opportunity, I should say. Opportunity, you know, and then of course, I guess responsibility comes with that. There's a reason why I mentioned that I didn't, it, it, it's funny that I meant to say opportunity and responsibility came out. So uh, yeah, uh, maybe that, uh, okay, here we go. The card that I got was straightforwardness. Someone's ready to take a direct approach and be clear in their communication. So you could have someone that's coming towards you that's going to set the record straight, going to share some information with you and be straightforward in their communications. Now, this could be someone that you're already interested in, someone that you've got your mind on, someone that you could be currently dating or perhaps someone you have yet to meet. But this is what I am feeling that, and I think you're refreshed about it. You know, in some way, I feel that you're refreshed about this. Uh, so it's really a beautiful thing. Um, wow. Okay. So, uh, anything else that wants to come out, uh, in terms of this new path, anything that may want to come through? Ah, we get the six of wands. What a beautiful card guys. The six is all about birthing something new, right? And the wreath of success. So this is all of that, that, you know, moving forward with confidence, uh, being able to push forward, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius, you're passionately moving forward. Uh, and, uh, after heartbreak, after some sort of heartbreak of the past, uh, yeah, there could have been Aries Leo Sagittarius. There could have been some sort of heartbreak of the past, uh, and, uh, it has you moving forward. And now you're kind of getting to a point where you're going to be emotionally satisfied of the situation. Something actually is moving in the way that it should. This is a really good side for you know, that I'm seeing from you here because previously there was a lot of, um, you know, controlling the situation of such that came through on previous reads with you, but I'm not seeing that here. I'm, I'm really seeing that you are thriving at work and you are thriving in your new uh, way of, of being and doing. And I think you're opening up to opportunity of courting um you know what a, a formal word I'm, I'm doing it from the cards here but in terms of dating others and such so i think that's really key and i think you're you're focusing on your health this is good mental health but also good physical health as well and this is connected to source and your this is your sacral chakra energy but there is some sort of change in health that you're doing that's affecting your life and uh, the way that you roll yeah and focusing on moderation in love. Uh, so this is, you know, green is the heart chakra. And this is, you're going to be a little more grounded in love and focus on moderation in moving forward. So I think that's working for you guys, which is so cool. Let's take a look at uh, anything that is unrevealed. This wants to come back. I will find my way back to you. Whoa. <laughs> okay, anything else that's unrevealed on your side, uh, Taurus, before we go to the other person? Help me love you better. Whoa. So it could be that uh, you are, um, you know, you want to uh, connect with someone. Maybe you've got someone that's currently on your mind. And uh, this person might be a little bit more at ease in, uh, you know, in terms of doing that. And you are learning from this connection from someone here that uh, how uh, that you you want to love better, and so you are you know you're uh, you're asking this person, well, help me uh, understand how can I love you better, right? Uh, interesting. Let's take a look at this other person. What do we get over here? What do we get? Uh, lovers thoughts. Ooh, okay. Message of concern. Sudden wealth. Whoa. Okay, guys, so this is very interesting. So we get thoughts. There's someone that's thinking of you, okay? This is what I feel. I feel that someone's, that I think that someone's thinking of you. It's a, It could be Gemini energy, okay? Um, but there is positive thoughts, okay? It's like a gentleman's like, he's in his art studio, uh, you know, and he's thinking of someone. And it looks just like the privileged, the privileged lady that I got on your side. So I kind of feel that someone's thinking of you, okay, is what I feel. That's kind of what I feel that's happening. Sorry, guys, for the glare there. But, oh, geez. 
here we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but that's what I'm getting. Uh, yeah. So I feel that there is, you know, with this lover's card coming through, there's an opportunity to burst something new. And so someone has thoughts about you, is thinking of you, and it could, you know, kind of go both ways. Now, there is a message of concern that's coming through, okay, for this person that has to do, uh, you know, it, it, what's funny, there is some sort of situation. Um, here's the thing. Just like you got great fortune, this person got sudden wealth. So there could be an opportunity for this person. There's a message of concern coming through. And right at the bottom is a health card. So when I get this health card, this tells me that this person is watching over their health. There's a message of concern to watch over someone's health, okay? Um, so this is going to be key. Or watch over someone's money and health. It could be something of the sort, okay? Um, so, uh, it could be, this person could be focusing on their health or for someone that is around them, but they are definitely thinking of you. Uh, I don't, let me even pull some other cards on this here. So give me a little bit more on the lovers and the thoughts and we'll work our way down a little bit. Like, give me more wheel of fortune. Yeah. This person is, I think is kind of waiting for something to change in terms of their energy. This is ruled by Jupiter, but things are shifting in their world. They're going through it. They're ending a karmic cycle and they're starting new and afresh. Kind of similar to what's happening with you. You're starting on a brand new path. So is this person. So they're waiting for the new energy. Like out with the old energy and in with the new. And um, this message uh, of, you know, what is this person thinking over here? What do we have? What is he thinking? Anything else? Balancing things out. Wanting to balance out a situation. So if you're connected with someone, it's that they're balancing out the situation. Sagittarius energy. So just, you know, balancing out emotions um, and also being practical. Yeah, and then coming up with making some sort of decision. So kind of uh, in the process of making some sort of decision. What is this message of concern that's coming through here? What do we got? Ooh, you know, it's interesting. When I clarify that, I get the uh, two of cups. So there's partnership. So this person is, uh, you know, is concerned. All right. So let's take a look. How funny. Because this is a, the 14 car reduces to a five. He, this person feels that there may be perhaps is some sort of adversity in terms of a partnership. And so they're concerned about it, right? Uh, anything else that wants to come through? Two of Cups. Seven of Wands. So, you know, this is interesting because there's a lot of growth on these wands and sevens is about having faith. So this could indicate partnerships, marriage of some sort that you even deal with the seventh house has to do with that, but fire energy. So um, this has to do with partnerships. And so um, maybe they receive some sort of message from you of concern or they want to, uh, uh, I don't know, that could be the case, guys. Because um, usually when I get the, this card, it talks about, you know, something that, that needs to be addressed, all right? This is, um, I don't know, this is, this is about getting rid of any sort of delusions that might be standing in the way. And, um, and, and, and this is also, uh, this may concern, it could be a, a partnership. Um, it could be a, a partnership in a professional or money matters. And, uh, um, so this is the news is perhaps a little depressing. So it could be something that happens within their, their wealth, you know, because this came side by side. So I, it could be the fact that maybe something was that they could have done better in or something was a little bit less, you know, a little depressing as it pertains to that. Um, but, and, and again, I, I just feel there could have been uh, some sort of situation within the family. Uh, someone could be, could be could become ill or, or, or something of the sort. Um, and uh, it has to, it's about, you know, focusing on the wealth and uh, what needs to be done, perhaps, uh, uh, will, it could talk about, you know, setting up a will of some sort, um, regarding, uh, a positioning of someone's, uh, of health. Um, now that could be the case. All right. So, um, oh, my condolence. I, I just, I, I'm not, I'm not foretelling anything may coming through, but I feel that there is a sudden wealth and a message of concern. And there is some sort of, um, a situation where, um, the family health is going to be very important to take care of. Okay. And then I got the three of pentacles. So this is about coming together. This is community. This is teamwork. Uh, you know, in this process is not just doing it on, on one person that's doing it on their own. So I kind of feel that that's the case too. Someone's working hard on, on developing some sort of, uh, um, uh, balance of some sort. Okay. 
Yeah, it's speaking, writing, communication with siblings. So there could be some sort of communication with siblings uh, that are coming through and anything else. Ten of Pentacles, legacy, family and legacy. So I do feel it's preparing things. It's preparing um, opportunities uh, for, um, you know, legacy, retirement. Uh, and it could be that this person through a work obligation or a situation could have um, uh, you know, gain some sort of money, but is kind of concerned about what, where this money's coming from. Okay. So you're going to know what that is for you guys, but that's what I feel that's happening. It has to do with legacy and retirement. Um, and then before they offer love, before they move forward and offer love, you know, Knight of Cups, that's moving forward and offering love. So interesting. Um, let's pull some love cards. I want to see what might want to come through for this person. Uh, what are we getting over here? Leap of faith. Yeah. Before they make that bold move and that leap of faith to come forth, right, and offer love. This is the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So before they do that, uh, there is, uh, you know, there is, um, they have to take a risk, right? And they know that they're going to have to, but there's some sort of decision that they have to come to, right? So I think what they're doing is uh, trying to uh, get their money in place, but, uh, you know, to make some change and to create some, something different than what was uh, or what's been happening in their life, it's going to require a leap of faith. Secrets. Wow. This connection is affected by hidden factors or secrets. I feel, why do I feel this is happening? There's secrets happening. Um, and and guys, do check out the Aquarius 3 because it might have some uh, information about that. Someone is emotionally and spiritually undeveloped. And so there's a little bit of a, a distorted outlook on the situation. Now, this could be you or the other person. But there is a sense of immaturity. Um, now, it, it doesn't mean that the, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are. You could be, have some sort of sense of immaturity, you know, as well. In terms of romance, in love, that could be the case. All right. Um, anything else that wants to come through here? The star card. Um, wow. Aquarius energy is coming through here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or they're going through healing or they're taking on that energy and balancing things out. Uh, they're becoming renewed. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. What do we get from the unrevealed thoughts that might be coming through? What do we get there? Let's take a look. What do we get? You see my soul. This person feels that you see their soul. Whoa. And what else do we get? I don't understand these feelings that I have. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then give me another card. I'm curious. I know I let you down. Whoa. So this is what's coming through, guys. Now, what's interesting is that the Wheel of Fortune is changing on their side and they're coming up with a decision. All right. Now, there could be some sort of money that's coming to them uh, based on their family, their heritage, a trust fund. It could be something of the sort at that. Or, uh, it, but something is causing an area of concern, okay? So there could be something to do uh, with family, um, uh, uh, you know, paperwork, having to do with finances and things like that. Uh, some, it might have to do with health situations, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. But on your side, I really feel that you've got a new pathway and you are creating change in your life and moving forward with passion and, uh, you know, wanting, you know, partnership and, and doing well at work. And wow, I just feel that there, if you're focusing on your health and, and, and doing your spiritual work, um, getting outside of, you know, imprisoned thoughts. Um, but you know where you need help and helping me love you better is the key. And uh, so you're trying to get more information so you could do that, um, you know, with this other person. So what we're going to do is take it to an extended and find out uh, what this decision, what is this, you know, what does this kind of come down to? If you've got someone that you're currently seeing, we'll find out what are their next steps, what they want most and what uh, they haven't told you. All right. And then we'll get some sort of timing, uh, you know, involved into that as well. We'll pull some time cards. We'll find out what you want most, Taurus, what you haven't told them. All right. And then we'll get messages from both sides a little bit further, uh, a potential outcome with Oracle advice. Now, for those of you that might be single, um, what I do is I will uh, pull some cards um, a little bit for those of you that are single, um, and I can actually do that right away at the extended before I jump into a little bit more on, on this. But uh, in any event, I'll pull some cards on what's coming towards you or who's coming towards you, and that might give you a little bit more feedback um, there too. So with that being said, guys, note your comments, smash that like button if this resonates, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Namaste.